join me for today, a kind of a day in the life, first time mom daily routine type video. We've just been having a quiet morning here at home. I am finishing up my green smoothie. Right now it is almost nine o'clock. I just put Danny down for his first nap for the day. And just in case you thought this was a perfectly calm, clean morning, <laughs> Think again because we have smoothie leftovers here on the counter, butter that I spilt, dishes from last night that are really gross that need to go in the dishwasher, clean dishes that still need to be put away. And for breakfast I had some pancakes that I had frozen and I toasted them, but one of them got stuck in the toaster so I had the hardest time getting it out, but I made a complete mess in the process. So just a reminder that things are not always as they seem. I have canisters here that need to be put away. I really do want to keep it real on this channel and show you the real day-to-day -day life. And today, this is it. The kitchen is a little bit of a mess. I'm gonna get to cleaning it up here in a little bit. And for the rest of the day, I do like to have a daily planner where I plan out each day. I typically do this the evening before so that when I wake up, I know my plan for the day. Today is kind of a normal day. This morning, I'm going to get started on a slow cooker meal for dinner. I have some baked goods to make for company coming tonight. And then I'm also going to make extra because we have more company coming on the weekend. So I'm gonna make some lemon raspberry scones and my plan is to make enough for tonight and for later on as well. I do need to go pick up a grocery order and then just a few things like cleaning up, getting our place in order for company coming over tonight. So I'm glad you've joined me for this video. I hope you enjoy it. First up, I'm going to tackle this kitchen. As far as a morning routine goes, Silas and I get up at six and then we have our coffees together. That's something that we have done ever since we got married and it is one of the most favorite parts of my day and his too. It's just so special to spend that time together first thing in the morning. And then Danny gets up at seven. So once he wakes up, I will feed him. And while I'm feeding him, I will do my Bible reading. And then after that, I will get ready for the day, have some breakfast, and then just kind of hang out with Danny until he goes for his nap, which is right now at nine o'clock. All right, speaking of keeping things real, let me just show you guys what our laundry room looks at the moment. <sighs> Ta -da! We've just been kind of tossing stuff in here ever since Danny was born. And it's something that we need to tackle. Probably in the next couple of weeks, we are going to both come down here and just go through everything, purge a bunch of stuff. There's just cleaning supplies over here that need to be gone through. More up here that we just don't really use. I mean, seriously, it is just a mess. Like, let me just show you. Okay, here's just a random Christmas sweater. Christmas wrapping paper left over. Over here, we have some random baskets and gadgets. Kleenexes. And I only show you this to just show you that it's not always roses and unicorns around here. I am a real person. I make messes. I can be a messy person. And this is just the reality of this room. I'm not happy about it. We're going to fix it. But things like this sometimes get out of hand. And if I'm being honest, I really didn't even want to show this room because it's embarrassing because we've just let it get out of control. But as I was saying earlier, I really want this channel to be real life and not just showing the picture Pinterest worthy aspects of day-to-day -day life. So 
there we have it i am not going to tackle this today this will be a whole other day a whole other project maybe i'll do a video on it i don't know let me know if that is even interesting like organizing and decluttering our laundry storage room that doesn't really sound interesting to me but maybe it is to someone else so let me know but for right now i'm just going to do some laundry and get some more things done around the house In fact, I love watching YouTube while I fold laundry. So if you have some laundry or some housework to do, why don't you get on up and we can do it together. I'm just here waiting on my grocery pickup order. This is actually, I was supposed to pick these up yesterday. I usually do my groceries on Mondays and I do an order, an online order, and then I will go to a different store to get my produce and some meat if we are out of our meat. But this week was kind of different because I didn't need to grocery shop on Monday. In hindsight, I just should have anyways and just stuck with my routine. But I did it on Tuesday, but then I realized on Tuesday when we were heading out to pick up this online order that I didn't actually place the order. So kind of threw a wrench in my whole system. So I'm here picking it up today. But then there were items that I needed it for dinner yesterday. And so it just became a whole ordeal anyways but we may do and it was a good reminder that when things like that happen when things don't go according to plan or my routine feels kind of out of whack that i just need to take a step back see the big picture and not get frustrated or frazzled is a term that we use a lot in our home i have a tendency to get frazzled if things are just off kilter or something doesn't turn out the way that i wanted it to but I need to realize that it's really not that big of a deal, especially when dealing with something as trivial as a grocery order. At the same time, I do think that there is importance in routines and rhythms. And I actually had a few of you ask me to do a video on kind of my routine. And truthfully, routine is not something that I am super 
knowledgeable in. I'm still figuring out what works for us. It's definitely come a long way since Danny was a newborn. I feel like until he was about four months, we really didn't have much of a routine or it was just changing very, very quickly. And that was okay. That was fine. That was the season that we were in. But ever since he turned about four, maybe five months, we have had a more established routine and that's been really, really helpful. But as far as a daily routine, there's only a few things that I am really strive for and other things are subject to change as the days go on and we're up to different things. Something that's important to me is getting up early. I get up at six, something that is important to us that we wake up at the same time. Of course, that's not feasible for every family and every situation, but it's really important to us because then we have that time together drinking our coffees in the morning before he heads off to work. Oh, and here's my order, so hold that thought. Okay, back to what I was saying. And then it's my goal in the mornings to unload the dishwasher, throw in a load of laundry, and spend some time with Danny before he goes down for his first nap. And for the past couple months, he's been doing three naps. He is seven months, he's still doing three naps. So he goes down at nine, he sleeps for anywhere from an hour to two hours. And then during that time is when I will do housework or computer work if I have, so that that's when I edit my videos. And because he is taking multiple naps, it does give me actually quite a lot of time to get things done. And then when he wakes up, typically that morning chunk like, 11-ish to 1. It is, it's 11.15 right now. That is when we will go out and do any errands that we have to do. I just find that's a good chunk of time when we don't have to be at home and Danny, oh I also feed him when he wakes up and then we're kind of good for like a good block of hours to go out and about if we need to. And then he typically goes down for a nap again around 1 o'clock. Sometimes it's like 2 o'clock. It just depends. So then during that time is again when I can have a block out to get some things done. I will typically have like some sort of afternoon little pick me up when he wakes up around three-ish. If he lasts until three, between like two and three he wakes up, I feed him and then I'll have like maybe an iced coffee or maybe like an electrolyte drink or something to have a little pick me up in the afternoon I find is something that I look forward to. It's a very, very small thing. It's a simple joy. But it's something that just kind of gives me a push to get started on dinner prep, put away laundry. Okay, okay, that's okay, thank you. Anyways, as I was saying, then Danny will get up from his nap. I will start dinner prep around four o'clock-ish, maybe even earlier if it's something that I can kind of just get started on. And then we eat dinner at five, 5.30. Silas is usually home by then. And then we pretty much have our evening, so we eat family dinners together, we will hang out with Danny, he goes to bed at 7, and then after he goes to bed is when I do my final like kitchen clothes. This is something that I do want to be more diligent in. It's something that is important because I love waking up in the morning <laughs> to a clean kitchen. So I will put away all the dishes from dinner, put away all the food, wipe down the counters, everything like that. Just make sure it's really clean for the next day. And then after that, it is like getting close to probably 7.30, 8 o'clock. And it's pretty much, we're not working anymore for the day. We are spending time together, Silas and I. So that's kind of like a snapshot of a daily rhythm. Also, I try to get together with a friend at least once a week. I think that's really important to have other mom friends or other girlfriends that you can spend time with. Anyway, so that's kind of a bird's eye view or overview of my daily routine, at least what I aim for. Doesn't always happen. Sometimes I'm lazy. Sometimes I don't close the kitchen. Sometimes I don't do the laundry for that day. And that is not okay. I need to grow in those things, but that's kind of what I'm aiming for as each day comes. And then I'll add other to-do lists and things like that. But I'm going to go home, put away these groceries and I will see you back there. started on baking I want to show you some spring and summer baby boy clothing that I have got recently some things are thrifted so we'll start with those things first 
but then also a lot of things are new. I find thrift stores are actually quite expensive. I feel like they're just getting more and more expensive. So I actually found some better deals buying new, but we'll start with what I thrifted first. So starting with this cute little onesie, it says Little Sprout Farms Orchard and Pie Co. That was so, so sweet. And this is six months. So this would actually fit him now. So it'll be perfect because spring is just around the corner these are originally from carter's but i thrifted them these are nine months i love shorts and jeans and pants and things that have like elastic band for him because i just feel like it's more comfortable and then this is from old navy originally six to twelve months so this will be perfect probably in the next month or two and i really love this blue color i definitely gravitate towards blue when i'm shopping for little boy clothing and this is also carter's i love the little pinstripe on these shorts they're very lightweight and i think this will be perfect for summer and i got him a pair of jeans these are oshkosh bagosh and they're really really stretchy so i also look for that in baby jeans because i just think that's more comfortable especially when you have a lot of leg and leg rolls to fit into <laughs> pants and then this one i was really excited to find this is from zara look how sweet this is and i just love the wooden button detail this is so so sweet okay so that's actually all that i got thrifted the rest of it is new I love to shop at H&M, Old Navy, and Carter's. So starting with Carter's, I think I have got these pants in every size so far because they're so easy, they're versatile, they go with different tops and onesies and things. And I have been able to find them at thrift stores, but I couldn't this time. But these are 12 months, so they'll be good for actually right now because the pants he has are definitely getting too short. These will be good to last us through the rest of the cold season. And then we are actually heading on a warm tropical trip here in a little bit. When this video goes, we will actually be on that trip. But I got him some shirts and little outfits to wear at the beach. This is so cute. This was actually on clearance. So this was like cheaper than the thrift store items, but it's the checker pattern. And if you look close, there's little palm trees and little cars. This is so cute and will be really fun to wear out to dinner or even to church when it gets warmer here in Canada. Okay, so this one I'm not sure about. I love it. I got it online. And I think it's adorable, but I'm just not sure if it's a little bit feminine. It's blue, which I love the blue and white stripes. And it's kind of like, I don't know what you would call this, like a bodysuit, I guess. But I just feel like it's, I don't know why, it's just giving me little girl vibes. Let me know what you think. I'll have to try it on him and see. But this is the Little Planet line from Carter's, and this is 12 months, so this should last us all Summer, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it. I might be returning this one. Let me know what you think if it works for a little boy. And then also Carter's is this little set. So there's these little shorts and then a little tank top to go with. How cute is this? I love the speckled material. I think I was most excited about this one. This is just so cute. I am a sucker for little wooden buttons like this. And then also from the Little Planet line at Carter's, I got these swim shorts. These are what we're going to take on our trip. And just wait. I also got, I got these at the thrift store too, I forgot. But I got him sunglasses. This is just going to be so sweet with these little shorts. Like what a cute beach baby outfit is that and then moving on to h&m i got another pair of swimming trunks that are a bigger size that will be for the summer these ones i think were on clearance as well kind of similar these ones obviously have the thicker stripe which i think i like these ones even better but the thin pinstripe is really really fun too and i like that both of these have the elastic drawstrings you can tie it so nobody's losing their swim shorts also from H&M, I got some just basic t-shirts. They came in a pack of two. So there's this gray one and then a white one. And I figured he can wear the white with the swim shorts. I also got a little sun hat, a little bucket hat. This is so darling. 
I already tried it on. It fits perfectly. It is six to nine months and will definitely be great for our trip and will be great for the springtime as well. For accessories, I tend to go for a more neutral color that will match all different kinds of outfits. Another hat I got, this one is again a bigger size for the summertime, but I also feel like it might be a little bit girly. So it'd be a really, really cute little girl hat, but I think I might return it and get a different color. It just looks again kind of feminine to me i don't know if it's because this is kind of like almost frilly i don't know it's super cute but i might exchange it we'll see and then last but not least i just got a couple things from old navy for each size that danny has been i've just got one pair of jeans for him and i have got the same kind a couple times but i got one that's a little bit different still has the elastic band but i think in the past i have got him skinny jeans and i believe these are not skinny jeans i'm not sure what they're called i want to say they were called like regular fit or something and then a couple other things for the springtime little onesie and then a green one as well and i also got a sleeper in the next size up also from old navy and it's that same ripped material yeah do you like it and i thought this would be a fun color for the springtime they also had like a butter yellow one which was cute opted for this one i might get that one later on but definitely a fun color for spring all right well that's pretty much our haul i truly think that these clothes will be enough to get us through all of the warm months i might need to fill in with like a few other little onesies um but that's looking pretty pretty good especially as he gets older i feel like we use less clothing because he's not really having as many accidents or like he's not a super spit up -y baby and so a lot of clothes do last the whole day i think the one thing i will need to get more of are sleepers for the next size but that's okay there's lots of time for that all right well it is now about two o'clock danny just woke up from his nap i've just been doing some computer work and i am about to make some scones for tonight however i do not have greek yogurt which is one of the ingredients that it calls for so i'm going to try substituting with cottage cheese i think it will go okay it's supposed to be vanilla greek yogurt but I have cottage cheese that I want to use up anyways, and I wonder if I just flavor it with vanilla and some maple syrup, if that will do the trick. So we're gonna try it out and hopefully it goes okay. No matter 
this video here. I really hope you enjoyed it seeing a day in the life and kind of a little bit of routines throughout the day. Wherever you are, whatever stage of life you are in, I hope you are doing well and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.